Red Panda helps uh, companies extract value out of every single item that is going through their network. As an example, in Nicey, if you see a trade or if you see a symbol, you know, being less than $5 and you want to buy it, right? It, Red Panda is the technology that enables uh, companies that are buying or trading stock to, you know, uh, buy the stock actually at the time that is happening or at the time you have a bunch of indicators. And so now compare that with the technology that we've had for the last 10 years, which is you take all of this data, you put it at rest in a database and then you query every, you know, at midnight, right? And so the fundamental transition in the market is people are trying to transition away from these data at rest batch systems into this real time, taking advantage of every single data item that's going through their network. Anand, now based on your experience with big data, where do you see the value addition of Kafka streaming when it comes to fintech and the NYSE? So at NYSE, as you know, you know, we are the center of capital markets here and our complexity is ever increasing and you know, we have a, a very high requirement for messaging uh, throughput systems, you know. And uh, streaming is the fundamental basic building block for our pillar technology platform that is powering all our exchanges right now and um, messaging platforms. Uh, Kafka streaming is interesting because it provides the reliability, replay capabilities and partitioning, you know, so it became quite famous. Why Red Panda? That, that's interesting. Um, C and C++ is the fundamental basic building block for low latency and high efficiency systems, you know, and basically it removes all the suboptimal part of it and you can control a lot of things with that. Um, Alex at Red Panda, he built this system using C++. So that is something we identify with, you know, and uh, makes it interesting choice. And their support for Kafka protocol along with that, makes it a unique and exceptional combination you know so that that in a in a long answer you know that's basically the gist of it like the the beauty of, of sort of like what what anand is doing here is that by adopting this common interface called the kafka api then you now have this huge ecosystem that you could leverage at your fingertips right mm -hmm. and so what red panda did is like hey we want to be the best broker, you know, kind of a technical term, but what it gives the end users, like Anand, you know, when you're thinking about your architectures, you can leverage all of these new technologies, whether you want to, you know, leverage technology companies like uh, ClickHouse or, you know, ML platforms like TensorFlow or all of these uh, new advances in technology without doing a lot of the work because this, uh, you know, community of, of developers has been building technology for over the last decade on that. And so, you know, as an architect, it's very freeing. You're like, let me plug in this technology, it's called Red Panda here. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden I can build this portfolio of products relatively easily, right? It kind of becomes, uh, a, you know, a game of Lego where you start to stitch these things together and deliver an inordinate amount of value for the end users. Yeah. Um, but to the architects, it's, it's freeing. You're like, you know, it, it's mentally it's easy to reason about and then you can you can just leverage this, this huge ecosystem. Exactly, how does it impact the everyday user? So just to give an example, right, we have a workload which is batch file delivery mode. So you break the files into small pieces, you deliver to AWS S3, and from that it is loaded to Snowflake. Um, there is general inefficiency when the number of messages or the file size increases, right? So if we replace that with a streaming platform like Red Panda, it removes all the inefficiencies which are there, right? Why does it matter? Because the messaging volume has skyrocketed during pandemic. You know, we operate platforms at NYC doing hundreds of billions of messages every single day. If we could deliver all these messages with lower latency, meaning not being delayed, mm -hmm. you know, so the end users can definitely benefit from that, right? Mm -hmm. The other thing is that it is used for big data analytics product, which Alex was covering. What it means is that people are able to stream directly into dashboard, able to join different data sources. So that makes it an interesting combination. But just to expand on, on what Anand said, you know, really cost and complexity has been classically the Achilles heel of, of data streaming. And so, you know, to, to the average Joe, for example, is if you order a DoorDash or something like that, you see the packages, you know, moving, being picked up by the restaurant and moving along the yeah. lines and taking a ride on this particular street. And then it gets home and your pregnant wife is like, yes, finally the food is here. Um, and so, uh, 
you know, like those kind of real time experiences, they're yes. really transitively, they're powered by technology that looks like Red Panda, yes. right? And so um, in a different context is, is NICE literally powering the, the capital markets of the world. And so you have to be resilient. Um, and the reason people haven't classically adopted this technology has been so complicated for people to use, right? With, yeah. with kind of uh, alternative competitors out there. We're not the first company to ever build this, right? Yeah. We're just the first company to make it super easy to use and uh, frankly, cost effective. Anand, you said that the NYSC works with technology startups when it comes to innovative solutions and feedback. Can you elaborate on this? So we are at a unique place with our capital market teams. You know, we have been interacting with a lot of interesting technology startup companies, you know, and uh, while interacting with them, we are able to identify, you know, whatever uh, feedback they need and we are able to help them with that. But it also gives us an unique opportunity to have different ideas and assimilate them, come up with new product and business ideas, you know. Mm -hmm. So that um, is a perfect opportunity for us. And also along the way, we are helping these companies to grow, you know, and make uh, impact to the lives of other people, make money here. Alex, how are you helping other companies when it comes to cost and complexity? In Q3 last year, we really saw this market change where the Fortune 2000s were now hurting. They're like, hey, I need to drive efficiencies of the product. It was, it, I think the market changed away from driving growth at all costs into being more operationally efficient, right? Like mm -hmm. driving your gross margin above 75% gross margin, right? Um, and so this is really the, the, the core of, of where Red Panda comes in, helping the majority of the companies. And so if anyone has, uh, you know, a Kafka API deployment um, and they would like to cut their bill in half, like, you know, I think we, we, we should have a conversation. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's, a, that's a big part. And now what's been challenging, especially with the layoffs, is that now you have smaller teams, mm -hmm. you know, largely dealing with the same amount of data volumes. It's not like, you know, the data volumes became less because, you know, due to unfortunate like redos in, in, in workforce, mm -hmm. Uh, your, your data size sort of disappeared, that's not the case. And so you have the small teams having to do a lot more. And so that's the other side, right? That's the complexity front. It's like, can we empower these small teams of two, three, sometimes even four people for relatively large deployments, manage these huge data volumes? And so those are the core two camps, either empowering small teams or helping people save uh, money. Well, you're making an impact in the world every day, right? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me.